Unlock the meaning, do penance. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where learning English is not just easy, but also fun. Today, we're diving into a phrase that might sound a bit archaic but is actually quite fascinating, do penance. Whether you've come across it in a book, heard it in a movie, or stumbled upon it in a conversation, understanding this phrase can give you insight into a range of English expressions. So, let's get started and unlock the meaning together. The phrase, do penance, originates from a religious context. In simple terms, to do penance is to perform an act to show that you are sorry for having done something wrong, typically a sin or a moral offense. It's about taking responsibility for your actions and trying to make amends. This could involve a variety of actions, such as praying, fasting, or even doing some good deeds. The key element here is the aspect of self-discipline and the intention to seek forgiveness. Historically, do penance was often used in religious ceremonies and texts. It was a formal practice within many religious traditions, especially in Christianity, where the concept of penance is closely tied to confession and absolution. This traditional meaning still influences how we understand and use the phrase today, even outside of strictly religious contexts. In modern language, do penance can take on a more figurative meaning. It doesn't necessarily involve religious practices anymore. Instead, it can refer to any action taken to show regret or make up for something wrong that one has done. For example, if someone says, I'm doing penance for eating the last cookie by cleaning the entire house, they're using the phrase to add a light-hearted touch to the idea of making up for a small mistake. It's also useful to know some related phrases that convey similar meanings. Phrases like, make amends, atone for, and make up for, are often used in everyday language and can be substituted depending on the context. Although they all have similar connotations, the nuances can vary, so it's important to choose the right one to match the situation you're describing. I hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, do penance, and expanded your understanding of English expressions. Remember, language is not just about words, but also the history and culture that shape their meanings. Keep exploring and don't be afraid to use these phrases in your conversations. Until our next lesson, keep practicing, and don't hesitate to do a little penance by hitting that like button if you've learned something new today. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.